Okay, um, I had a few people asking about a mod I did on my headlights. These are the Cadillac ATS halogen headlights. I've done the modification where I added HID aftermarket kit. This plugs in for the bulb. This would be coming out from inside there to the socket to supply power. Um, I had put an LED light in the corner of the headlight for this part here that lights these up. Basically what you do is right here, there's a uh, gray spot. I cut a circle out. And when you look inside, I'm still in the process of finishing cutting it out. But you can see there, those are the uh, four squares on the other side. Now as far as what can fit in there, um, it's very little depth. So uh, the best thing I found was a T20. It's the same size as your reverse light bulbs. Um, here's I got these LEDs off uh, VLED, basically uh, with they plug into a, a rubber socket, running a wire, this would go in here, and then you would put this socket here to uh, get it watertight, hold on a second here, there we go, and the red and blue wire would come out of that, it goes in there like so. The other option, which is what I'm going to be trying to do, is they have these uh, 15 watt HID bulbs. You can put a T20 base on, and then that just goes in there and the socket goes right in here. You do need to trim a little bit on this outside lip, whether it's this one or uh, this piece here. And then you can plug it into whatever power source you want. Um, for me, I have the, the ballast for the HID. So this coming out of the car, and this socket just goes in here, powers it up, and basically what that means is uh, those accent lights will be on day and night, um, but I'm okay with that. It's just an accent light. It's not anything more than that, so it's not going to like blind oncoming drivers or anything like that. So hopefully this helps. Again, this is the uh, part that I cut out. Start off cutting a small hole, and then of course you can always make it bigger. It's easy, you know, of course, just to cut away. Uh, just make sure you leave a little bit of a lip inside for the uh, rubber grommet to make, you know, make a seal on. So, and these, this part here, this outer lip, whether it's this or with the uh, orange HID rubber grommet, it's a little too big for this, so you'll just trim a little bit along the outside. Remember, just trim a little. You can always take away more if you need to. You just can't add it back on. And that's pretty much it. I will make another video once it's installed with it on. Um, initially, I just drilled a hole big enough in here. Now, if you drill just a hole big enough to fit the LED bulb in, you're fine. The LED bulb, you can only really see it if it's kind of cloudy out or if it's nighttime. But during the day, on a bright, clear day, you, you can't notice it. That's why I got the 15-watt uh, HID bulbs. But if you only cut a hole big enough to fit the, the HID bulb in there, the plastic near the bulb will start to melt. And that's a no-no. So I cut away as much as I could. Um, the problem is it's very limited access here and I don't feel like cutting open the entire headlamp to do anything more of a major modification of lighting to it. So I just got in there, took out as much as I could, top and bottom, and I'll put the HID in and see what happens. Um, but I've already tried it once before with just a hole big enough for the bulb and uh, it started melting plastic. So, you know, and make sure of course obviously you don't push the bulb so far in that it's touching the front because those plastic squares in there, um, those will melt too if, you, if they get too hot. It's just plastic. All right, so, and of course you can tap whatever power source you want if you want to run it to a relay. Like I said, I'm just using the um, cord here that came out from the HID kit. My HIDs actually run off of a, a relay harness, so I wasn't even using this. As you can see, it's actually just taped off. But um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hope this helps.